Once you've made all of the adjustments to your images, you're ready to process them. In the main window, select the images that you'd like to process and click the Batch Process button in the upper right-hand corner of the toolbar. This brings up a window where we'll need to make a few choices. On the left side of this window, we see the names of the files to be processed. Under Save Folder, click the Browse button to choose the folder where the new processed images will go. Choose what type of file you'd like the new processed file to be. Your choices are JPEG, 8-bit TIFF, 16-bit TIFF, or a combination of the two. If you choose JPEG, this Image Quality slider appears to allow you to change the level of compression. Leave the slider at 10 for the best image quality, the least amount of compression, or bring it down as low as 1 for smaller files and lower image quality. Under Output Setting, specify a value between 1 and 60,000 dpi. Let's say I'm creating small JPEGs for the web. I'll type in 72 dpi, which is screen resolution. A color-managed workflow is important. I'll want to check this box to embed the profile that I've selected in Preferences. To change the size of the images you're about to process, click Resize and type in a size in either pixel units or centimeters or inches. Since I'm saving these as little JPEGs for the web, I'll type in 6 inches by 4 inches. You'll want to make sure that the lock aspect ratio box is checked to avoid the image being distorted. Under file name, you can choose to process the images with their current file names or to create a new file name with a sequence number. Check this box to save that sequence number, especially if you intend to process more images with that same name prefix. For more extensive renaming functions in DPP, see the section on the Batch Rename tool. If you'd like the images to open up in another software once they've processed, you can click this Browse button to choose the application, and then select the Open Image Using Software box. At that point, you're ready to click Execute and begin the processing.